Hi and hello friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this session we have an interesting question from numbers and also a very easy question only. We have seen so many problems based upon the same concept. Now see the question here we have with us. Find the number of zeros at the end of the expression. Now we see we have a very big product given to us. So it says 1 to the power 1 factorial multiplied by 2 to the power 2 factorial into 3 to the power 3 factorial into 4 to the power 4 factorial and all the way up to 10 to the power 10 factorial. So this is going to be the product and we are in need to find the number of zeros with which this big product will be ending. Yes, fine. Now as I said, we have seen uh, many problems previously based upon finding the number of zeros of a given expression. So we are going to use the same technique only here also to find the answer. Now first of all, we will have a quick revise. Now whenever we need to find the number of zeros, all we need to concentrate is the power of 10. Okay, that is 10 to the power how much? Because the power of 10, the maximum number of 10s we have in our expression will only decide the number of zeros. So number of zeros whenever we have a question based on number of zeros we should focus on finding the power of 10 or the maximum power of 10 available in our expression and remember that 10 is constructed by 2 into 5 because to get 1 10 we need to pair up 1 2 with 1 5 that's a simple logic okay now keeping all these things in our mind let us see this question and we'll see the expression here we have this expression that contains a product of uh, uh, 10 values and I want to cut short the process here itself. Why? Because since we need to find the number of zeros, we need to focus on the powers of 10. We'll take only the powers of 10 and also the powers of 2 and 5. The other numbers we will reject. I mean, we will reject those numbers wherever we don't find the power of 2 or power of 5. That's a simple idea. Which means I can reject all these odd numbers. Is it or not? I mean, 1 to the power 1 factorial, 3 to the power 3 factorial, 5 to the power, I'm sorry. 1, 3, I'm sorry, 5 should not be left. 5 we have to take it into account because 5 also is needed to construct 10. So other odd numbers we have to leave it. Okay, I'm really sorry. 1, 3, 7, 9, we will leave these things. The other terms alone we will be focusing. Okay, let me write them. So we need to focus on 2 to the power 2 factorial into 4 to the power 4 factorial into 6 power 6 factorial into 8 to the power 8 factorial into next we have to see this uh, 5 also 5 to the power 5 factorial into 10 to the power 10 factorial so only these terms we will focus because we can get 10 only from these terms the other terms we don't have to worry that's it fine now again coming back here see this expression this is 10 to the power 10 so it is very clear that the power of 10 here is 10 factorial itself so let us not disturb this it is very very clear the power of 10 here is 10 factorial itself which means this expression alone will end with 10 factorial number of zeros that's a simple idea okay now let us try to focus on this particular expression i mean the terms which are other than this 10 power 10 factorial we will focus here now here we have got all these even numbers even numbers and we also have a 5 to the power 5 factorial. Let us see this expression in detail somewhat. Okay. Now take them one by one. Let me take this 2 to the power 2 factorial. This can be written as 2 power 2 factorial only. Because the 2's power there is available is 2 power 2 factorial. Okay. Yes. Now coming here. What about this expression? This is 4 raised to the power 4 factorial. Now this can be in turn written as 2 square to the power 4 factorial. Which is nothing but. 2 to the power 2 into 4 factorial. I hope you are able to understand. Why? Because a power m raised to the power n will be nothing but a power m into n. The same is what here I am doing. Okay. I am replacing this 4 as 2 square and 2 square power 4 factorial will become 2 power 2 into 4 factorial. That's it. Okay. Yes. Now when you focus this 6 to the power 6 factorial. Now see there inside what you will have inside that 6 to the power 6 factorial. You will have a 2 into 3. I am this, I am just breaking the 6 as 2 into 3. Now again, I need to focus only on 2's powers. So let me take only the 2 to the power 6 factorial inside that. Fine. Okay. Yes. All right. I don't want that the other 3 into, so I mean the other part 3 power 6 factorial, which I don't want. Okay. I hope you are able to understand. Maybe if you want, I will make it detail. Okay. Yes. 
Now the 6 power 6 factorial is nothing but 2 into 3 the whole power 6 factorial is it or not? So I'm just taking only this 2 power 6 factorial placing it here. I don't want this 3 power 6 factorial that's what I mean because there's no usage of the 3 power 6 factorial to do with the, the number of zeros we have in our expression that's why and coming here to 8 to the power 8 factorial I can do the same thing like what I did here. So this 8 is nothing but 2 power 3 and once again raised to the power 8 factorial which means 2 to the power 3 into 8 factorial okay I hope this process is clear okay now for these expressions we have done so far this now finally here I have 5 to the power 5 factorial which also I will write it now okay yes now I need to collect all these 2's I need to multiply it with 5 and I have to check maximum 10, po 10 power how much I can collect that's what I want right basically I want what I need to just figure it out by clamping everything by clamping all these expressions along with this 5 power 5 factorial I need to check maximum I can collect 10 power how much this is all I want correct yes now it's very very simple to understand now see this all these 2's power whatever whatever we have along with 5 power 5 factorial now you will realize that this 5 to the power 5 factorial which is 120 is going to be a very small number when you compare to whatever you have in this two's powers is it or not yes or no it's very simple why because here itself i got to know i got to see a, a 2 to the power 6 factorial here i got to see 2 to the power 3 into 8 factorial they are going to be much longer much bigger than what i have in 5's power which is just 5 factorial which is going to be 120 which means maximum with this expression how much tens i can collect i can take a 2 power 5 factorial from this expression which is definitely available inside this and I can clamp it with this 5 to the power 5 factorial is it or not so that's all I can do with this now multiply this with this with uh, this uh, 10 to the power 10 factorial okay yes yeah fine now I hope this idea is clear to you this idea I repeat it I repeat it why because I have got 5 to the power 5 factorial which is just 5 to the power 120 and I can multiply it with so many twos I have, but to get a 10, to get 110, I need to pair up 1, 2 with 1, 5. That means maximum how many tens I can form. I will be able to form here. I can form the number of tens where, where I have only those number of fives I have. Number of fives I have is only 5 to the power 120. That many twos only I can collect from this expression to get this expression. Okay, to get to get this. Uh, uh, expression here what you see here okay yes. and that means this will give you 10 to the power 5 factorial into 10 to the power 10 factorial and this will be nothing but what 10 to the power now we can add the powers because they are going to be of the same basis 10 to the power I have 5 factorial plus 10 factorial that means maximum I can collect 10 to the power 5 factorial plus 10 factorial that many tens from this given expression and that means how many zeros I will have at the end of this expression this is just nothing but the power of 10 what you see here so the answer is going to be 5 factorial plus 10 factorial so your expression this expression what you see here will end with 5 factorial plus 10 factorial number of zeros and that's going to be the answer okay yes so the only part you should be very careful is here playing with the powers of 2 and 5 so though you have more number of 2's you have only less number of 5's to make them pairs so the power of 5 since it is less, lesser that is going to decide you what will be the power of 10 here in this expression. So now you multiply this with this 10 to the power 10 factorial what you see outside and that's giving you the answer together okay yes. So finally 5 factorial plus 10 factorial is going to be the answer for this particular question. I hope you are able to understand this. If any doubts you can post it in the comment box when I see it I will see it to rectify your doubts. Again we will catch up in some other session with some other interesting question. See you soon there. Thank you so much.